Well, recreational boating is becoming more popular each year. Mm -hmm, which makes it even more important that boaters get on board to reduce pollution. Roxanne Evans explains how they're doing that in this week's Garden State Green. Robert Flynn is taking a spin through Beaver Dam Creek. He's the manager at Sherman's Boat Basin in Brick. The marina was one of 27 out of over 500 in the state to be designated a New Jersey clean marina. That means they're voluntarily using methods that reduce the impact of boating on the environment, including educating their customers. A lot of it, um, it's just a matter of them actually taking the time and practicing the efforts to do it. There's a lot recreational boaters can do to cut down on pollution. To start with, boat fuel. We recommend that they only fill their tanks to 90% uh, because the fuel can expand and actually come out of the vent and then end up back in the, back in the water. A vent attachment can be used to capture spills and a clean boat doesn't have to mean a contaminated environment. Just fresh water and a, a non-abrasive pad such as adobe pad. When you do have to use soap, use a non-toxic, phosphate-free, biodegradable soap. They can properly dispose of their sewage and make sure they dispose of any materials that they uh, generate during boating properly. If you know they don't take control of what they're doing and it affects the environment, it affects everything, and it, it kind of ruins it for themselves in the long run. The solution is crystal clear. Remember, saving the planet can start right here in New Jersey. I'm Roxanne Evans, News 12, New Jersey.